Repairing south of 12 inch steam pump, part 13. A steam test in the garden during a thunderstorm, which is not the smartest idea I've ever had. But when I started the steam test, the weather was fine, just a little bit on the windy side. This day, the 28th of July 2021, was a perfect day for going to the boating lake to sail my radio controlled yacht. But no, I need to give this pump a steam test, so I'm setting up the castle steam boiler and here I'm pumping some water into it ready for the test. This boiler is a wonderful piece of equipment, it's dual fuel, gas or coal. I tend to run it on coal. It takes quite a while to fill it because the boiler does have a good capacity, but then the hand pump is also a high capacity hand pump with a large ram. I filled the boiler about half full of water and now it's time to light the fire. Normally I would use charcoal soaked in paraffin, but as I had lots of bits of scrap wood around the bandsaw, I thought I'd have a clean up. Some of this is balsa wood which I thought would soak the paraffin up very well, but it didn't. In this clip I'm filling the firebox with the paraffin soaked wood. This boiler, being a tall vertical one with a long chimney, doesn't need a blower. All you do is light the wood, push it into the fire hole and then leave it to its own devices. The only problem was I was getting intermediate gusts of wind across the chimney which stopped it from drawing the fire, but eventually the fire started to work. Here's a really nice shot showing the blue cloudy sky on a wonderful summer's afternoon. A perfect day for a steam test on a 12 inch southward pump. The fire is now well lit, I'll just put another piece of wood on there, and once the fire is fully incandescent I will feed in some coal. To feed the water into the Castle Steam V6 boiler, I use a special 12 inch Southworth pump that was modified to run on its side by Don English of Jubilee Fittings. And at the moment, the piston doesn't want to go in and out, it's not rusty or anything, this is the gunmetal version of the pump and every part of it is rust proof. The coal I'm using is some well steam coal that was kindly given to me by Simon from the Steam Workshop and it really burns hot. It's a superb fuel for raising steam. You can see that the water is starting to boil by looking at the gauge glass, so it's time to open the blower. This directs a jet of steam up the chimney to draw the fire, and once I slightly open the blower, steam raising is much improved. The fire becomes an inferno and it will get much hotter than this. I'm shoveling in a bit more coal than I normally would. Because this is a steam test, I'm going to be quite busy giving all my attentions to the pump that I'm testing, so I don't want to be going back and forth shoveling coal into the fire hole. The firebox is completely full now. As soon as the coal in the firebox catches light, the pressure starts to rise at quite a good rate. This is running in real time. I haven't steamed this boiler and used this pump since December 2020. But as soon as I open the regulator to the pump, it starts to work. Don't worry about all the leaks, the water has to get out of here somewhere and what it tends to do is blow past the gaskets and then once all the water's gone the thing seals itself again. That's why I never bothered fitting any drain cocks. This pump is very efficient and the water rises up the glass really quickly. A bit too quickly really. When I look back at the pump for a while and then back at the gauge, the water was right at the top. Now it's time to connect this pump that I've been working on. You can hear in the background that the Castle Steam V6 boiler is starting to blow off. I've connected this vertical pump that I've been working on and as soon as I open the regulator it bursts into life. The steam as you can see is very wet. I connected a water inlet and outlet pipe and once again as before the pump is fully self priming and it starts to pump the water. And dare I say it I'm still not happy with this pump. It was a real dog when I got it to be honest, with bits missing and I think a few people had worked on it and no one has had any success with it. Some parts of it are quite well made and other parts of it are not. I think what I'm going to do after this test is take it into the workshop and compare the parts internally to a steam pump that I have that was built by Don English. It's a 12 inch vertical pump and it works perfectly. This one is blowing all the time. I think it's that valve that's too short inside. After a while the pressure in the boiler dropped alarmingly. Then I realised that I hadn't put any more coal on the fire. 
since the bit right at the beginning. So now I'm filling the firebox one more time with the steam core. It was at this time I started to hear distant thunder and felt some rain spots on my bald head. In this clip the steam pressure to the pump is still low, so I had to give it a bit of a push. The pump's mechanism seems to work okay, but it's outputting far too much exhaust steam, it's blowing past something inside. The pump is working alright though, it's pumping the water out of the bottle, through the piping and back to the bottle. With this type of pump I've found it to be a good idea to make the final adjustments to the valve once you have it in an installation. This silicone rubber tubing that I'm using to test the water side of the pump has a very narrow bore. Here I'm testing to see whether the pump pumps the water against pressure. No matter how hard I try, I can't stop the water from escaping from the end of the pipe. Most of it's gone all over me. And here once again I'm adjusting the valve to compensate for the fact that the pump is working against pressure. When I squeeze the end of the pipe, the force of the pump would propel a jet of water about 10 feet and as you can clearly see in this clip at quite a high water pressure. You can also see what a difference it makes as I adjust the valve when the water is pumping under pressure. Once I return this pump to the owner and he fits it into the installation in his steamboat it will still need to adjust these valves to suit the internal bore of the piping and the pressure that the boiler runs at. It pumps very well and it's fully double acting. And now the rain's getting a lot heavier and I don't mean the rain from the pump. Here's a similar shot to the one at the beginning of the video and as you can see the sky has changed its appearance. You can even hear the thunder now. I will press on regardless, the fire is in a very good state giving plenty of heat. What I'm actually doing here is poking the fire to try and put it out a little bit. All to no avail, here's a long shot. The wind has entirely ruined my hairstyle and now I'm feeling a bit damp. So much for trying to reduce the fire, it's made it worse. Because it was raining I went into the shed and watched it from in there. I'd filled the boiler right to the top and here as you can see it's blowing off. It's also priming a bit too. I'm finding the water in this area to be quite hard, so I think this is due for a bit of a descale. Here I am back in the workshop with the pump on the bench. I've removed the inspection plug and what I've done is pumped in lots of WD-40 and steam oil. And suddenly... Wow! A flash of lightning quite close by, followed by a peal of thunder and a power cut. Just what I needed. I went back outside to tend to the boiler and refill it again and it was still blowing off. And now I'm very wet, so I thought I would come back into the workshop, use my Proxon motor tool, fitted with a sanding disc to clean up the ends of the dummy studs that are fitted into the steam chest cover. At this stage I needed to tend to the boiler so I went outside and left the pump running. But not before I had a tweak at the valve timing once again. Considering the state of this pump when I received it as a box of bits, after quite a lot of effort, which far exceeded my initial estimate, the pump is now running reasonably well. But I'm still going to dismantle one of the pumps made by Don English to see if it's different internally to this one. This pump seems to work okay but only on high pressure. Don's pumps work down to next to nothing. I'll try and find out why in the next episode. By the way, the boiler's fire is out and I carried it back into the workshop. And that's it for this one. Stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.